I'm just back here at the farm again. We got a little rusty. What are you doing, huh? What are you doing, you pig fat baby? Look at you. Why am I going to lay on his belly? Come on, lay down. Oh, he's too lazy. Too lazy to even lay down. Oh, what you doing? What you doing, boy? He's a good dog. I'm just going to go up to the barn and uh, scavenge for parts. I gotta find me a CB radio if um if that makes sense to some people watching this. I need to, I need to gosh dang find me a CB. So we're gonna go up on up there and go up on up go on up there. See what we can find. So my uncle David drives that Dodge back there, and uh, it's uh, I don't know I think it's like a 010 something like that. It's a 5.7 Hemi um, crew cab short bed, and uh, he just recently took the mufflers off or some of the muffler or whatever it was. And that thing sounds sick. I'm talking like it's just a bad truck, man. Hey, new locks are stiff. Gosh dang. Look at these. How stiff these are. The main purpose I'm coming in here for is to search that wagon for a CB. Okay, so this wagon is probably more than 100 years old. And the, the tires don't look deflated. We're gonna see if tires as old as these still have air in them. Oh my god. Let's go ahead and close up. Alright, let's go. Yep, it's in there. I'm gonna see if this thing will even move. Oh, turned around. That thing pumps it into your rear. Holy crap, pressure. it's a 20 ton. Yeah. See, if you just go through all, and I guess that battery is no good. I think it's got no fluid in it. Did you turn the bottom? There's an oil pan. Okay. There she is, my friend. Oh boy. You need to take a picture of it. Sam. I keep it clear. You didn't even run Look at this little boat. Oh boy. Now that's a car. Look at this. Wow, 6.1. I look at the color of this one. Oh, this one's my favorite. They're different. They're different, all right. Oh, See the difference? This one's a little brighter. I did this. This is a Sunday, man. You know what that cost me? When you open the door? Look. <laughs> oh! That's actually really cool. See the purple? The camera isn't picking it the up. The lights much. light that up. Wow. Leather. Oh, it still smells new. Yeah, it ain't new, my friend. I wish it was. That's what I want on the other one. Here's the old Dodge. That's what I want on this one. Mm -hmm. It came. I have. There's the car's the exhaust. Look at the size of them exhaust pipes. <laughs> you want to hear it run? Sweet. Oh crap! I can't breathe back here. Oh, you're a pussy. <laughs> Don't you? That is. Look at this though. This is the nitrous. <laughs> Watch out, that's serious right there. What?
plenty of tires. You still have air in them, I think, a little bit. A wheel. What's that down there? This or those. No way, I think I see like a... Oh, you have a bottle jack. You want that? That's a big one for trucks. You want it? You want it? Back when we had the dump trucks. Only two boxes left are these two. Yeah. They're, they're, they're good. I mean, I guess they'll work. Oh, I forgot about this. Look at it. it stayed nice and wet. Somebody left a can of WD there. I sprayed it again. No, well, it stayed nice and shiny. So that's good. Spin it. You're gonna take two hands to do it. Yeah, hold this. Ah, oh, neat. Still smooth. And now my hands are greasy. Yeah. What's that out of the vet or the race car? That's a, that's a rear end. From the race You've got car. two rear ends here. One there and one here. What's so what's this thing? What's this for? It's a, where I bend sheet metal, make bodies. You want, that you want this hammer you made? Put that funnel up. Funnel? No, no, no. The blue funnel there. Oh. Would well, you want this? This would be nice to change oil in. Yeah. Don't put that in there. She's going to bench for this. Oh. I felt like I might as well make a tour of the garage. I haven't been in here for a long time. So, obviously years ago when we lived here, there was much more than just the random crap lying around, but there's about $25,000 worth of tools in here. Now there's less than a couple grand, less than that. But there's uh, four engine blocks. There's this one which is a 388 and it's going in my truck. There's that 491 over there, big block. That's uh, That came out of Margie's old vet. And this is another old 388 or a 350, I can't remember which one, that my dad blew up. He was racing it and this one blew up and you can see that all the cylinders blew up. And then there's one, one more that came out of my grandpa's old truck and the radiator got hot and it took it out a long time ago and it's been here ever since. This is an old uh, 350 I think out of, um, out of old Chevy pickup my grandpa had. And right now we're fixing the mower because the carburetor is just shooting gas out. It's flooding itself all the time so we're like fixing it and it's still charging. So there was gas everywhere. <laughs> but this, um, this 388 stock, just stock, wouldn't have that much power but Obviously, my dad took it and he boring straight. It was a 350. It started. He turned it into a three, to a 388. Cause he boring stroked it, and to just to, 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 to I forget what what, what the frick else he did. I don't know. I know he, I know he boring stroked it to be a lot deeper. And we're gonna put this camshaft in it. This brand new camshaft made for you know, all these for either off road, strips, spr street, motorhome, and towing, and something just coming. I think. No. And we're gonna put that camshaft in here and put aluminum heads on it. And uh, this thing will have about 530, 600 foot pounds of torque. And <laughs> that's gonna be going in my truck. That small block is gonna have that much power. If you did that with something like this or a freaking 502, it'd be scary. It, ugh, my lord. But, so this would be about 600 foot pounds, which is about as much as a dually. And um, yeah, so that'll be in a freaking 1500 pickup. So, I'm gonna be winning the torque contest and little people right there. And, uh, so I guess we'll actually get to the torque. 